all, Mrs. Arndt here. This is your Math 3, Week 4, Lesson 3, and it's all about more trig graph discovery. So just a quick reminder about trig graphs and the transformations of sine and cosine functions that we saw a couple of days ago. Y equals A times the sine or cosine of B times X plus D on the outside. Quick reminder, that A parameter is the amplitude. The D parameter on the end, that's our midline. And then the B parameter is the number of cycles that fit in the space of 2 pi. Now, we saw yesterday that the period of a function can change. It can be different. And so we need to know how to find that B parameter. Well, there is a formula that we can use. The B parameter is equal to 2 pi divided by the period of the graph. Okay, so let's see what that means. So here in example one, our job is to write the equation for this wave. And they've identified it as a cosine wave, so we don't have to decide. <clears throat> Next up, let's start by finding the midline and the amplitude just like before. So we have a lowest point of zero, a highest point of two, and so that midline is at one. Okay. That means that our D parameter is plus one on the end. That's what we would fill in the blank. From there, we would want to identify the amplitude. So from that midline up to the peak, what stretch is that? Well, that's a distance of one unit above and below this midline. So our A parameter is one. Our B parameter is only one if there is one cycle in the space of zero to two pi. So let's take a look what's happening here. So it's a cosine function starting on that peak. So peak to peak, that is a space of one pi, one pi. The period of this function is one pi. Well, what that means is it's more frequent than the typical cosine function. In fact, in the space of zero to two pi, <clears throat> we see that there are two full cycles that fit. So that means that our B parameter is two because two full cycles fit. It's twice as frequent as the original cosine graph. Now that's one way to look at it. The other way is for us to identify the B parameter by utilizing the equation. Two pi divided by the period identified from the graph. Two pi divided by pi is equal to two. So definitely B is two no matter what. <clears throat> If we take a look at example two, um, writing the equation for this one, they're telling us to write a sine function that's been identified for us. And delta math will do that as well. So then we definitely wanna find our midline first. So our peak is at five, the lowest is at negative three. So if we find that average, five plus negative three, and divide by two, we get a midline of one. Okay. So that means our D parameter is plus one. For the amplitude, well, going from that height of one up to the peak or down to the low end, we can see that the amplitude is four. <clears throat> and lastly, we need to come up with the B parameter. So how many cycles fit in the space of zero to two pi? Well, we know we're dealing with a sine function. So looking at where we start here, we have the cycle going up and down and finishing up here at pi units. So the period of this function is pi, very similar to before. We can see that there is one cycle, two cycles that fit in the space from zero to two pi. So once again, the B parameter is two. Or if we take two pi divided by the period pi, we see that it is definitely two. Let's see if we can come up with a slightly different example. Oh, well, I guess those were the only examples. Um, so just something to keep an eye on. Um, head on over to Delta Math, try out that trig graph discovery, and good luck out there.